or a Mohit. Oh, hello. So let's understand the second component of you know GSM that is NSS. And uh, NSS is nothing but network switching subsystem which comprises of MSC. Now MSC is mobile switching center. As I told you that MSC is the biggest you know office inside uh, one location which connects uh, different BSCs and then BSC connects to BTS. Okay. Now this MSC is having different types of database. We call it as HLR, VLR, EIR and AUC. I'll tell you about all these database but let's understand the MSC first. So you see the MSC, the, there are several functionality associated with uh, MSC. So the first functionality is the mobility of a user. So you, you, you can understand that GSM is a voice communication, you know, kind of te technology where a user can move from one location to the other, other location. So with the help of this MSC, you know, we can do something called as mobility. With the help of mobility, a user can, you know, roam or can move from one location to another location on an active call. Okay, that can be done with the help of mobility and it can be done with the help of this MSC. So the second thing is registration and authentication of a user. By means of registration, it means uh, we have a shop and let's say this user is purchasing a Vodafone SIM card. Then this MSC, this is going to be the Vodafone MSC, right? So Vodafone MSC. So this is Vodafone MSC. What happen whenever this SIM card is going to be, you know, inserted the insert inserted into the mobile device? Then this MSC is going to, you know, register you, your 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 end your you know different kind of uh, information, just as your name, address, proof, and everything is going to be inserted in in the database. And with the help of this database, you are you are registered, you know, with this Vodafone uh, Vodafone company. Okay, then you can use these services uh, provided by this company. Okay, so this MSC, you know, registered uh, your identity inside their database. And then the authentication, it means a person one wants to connect with this person two. Okay, this person wants to connect with this person two. Then whenever this, whenever this uh, person going to call, okay, this person two, then this authentication, uh, this MSC, what happened in MSC? This MSC is going to authenticate you your, and your number with the help of your number is going to authenticate that the person who, who you are is you is you are or or not. Okay, he will he will check out his database that if there is any entry of user one or not, you are registered inside the database or not, you are authenticate in my database or not. If you are authenticated, then the call is forwarded to the user two otherwise not otherwise the call is going to be dropped okay so it does the registration and authentication okay so next thing is next thing is it connects third thing is it connects different network so a person who is in the network one can communicate to the network two here this is user 2, this is user 1. If he wants to connect with different network, then with the help of MSC, you know, you can you can connect with the uh, with the other network. So this is your NSS. Uh, and NSS more precisely, you know, we had seen the MSC. Now let's understand these are the three functionality, you know, it, it, it does uh, provide um, any other thing. I, I don't think any other thing. Yeah, one more thing it provides. We call it as something called as handover. You had seen in the cellular system chapter, it also provides handover process. So you please write it out in the brief. I, I am not giving you know you know more explanation by writing all those stuff. I hope you understand handover. If you if you don't understand, I'll explain you in the in the later sessions. But if you just point it out like connects different uh, different network, then no one gonna give you marks. Please keep that in mind. You you, you need to uh, give some brief description on this point. So connect different network. You please summarized in the in the in the answer sheet. Okay. So next next thing we need to understand is HLR. So let's understand home location register. Now this home location register here, it is a kind of database here. This is a database. But keep that in mind that this database is the permanent database. This is the permanent database, which is the most important thing you need to understand. 
okay so i'm going to point it out the several points that i need to you know uh, jot it down here so i'll i'll just um, change the colors so that you understand so the first thing is it maintained it maintained so it maintains it maintains all information related to the mobile subscriber so what I mean to say here is now see what exactly happens in HLR so as I told you there is a shop let's say this is a shop and you are purchasing again a sim card here okay you are purchasing a sim card and you are the user here okay so let's say this card is of Vodafone company so you had purchased the sim card of Vodafone what exactly happens is um, you know as I told you that MSC is going to register right so there is a register panel here so whenever you insert your sim card in the mobile device and you accessing the Vodafone services what exactly happens is MSC is going to register you in his database so that database name is as I told you in the previous session that database name is HLR okay so this sim card is now belongs to or the number that is there in the sim card is belongs to you and you are going to register yourself in HLR with the help of MSC okay whenever you whenever you buy a sim card uh, of any company you're going to register yourself with that company with the help of MSC and that regist registration location is nothing but in HLR okay so whenever a subscribe register with any mobile network operator uh, something called a service level agreement is going to be performed okay and then uh, whatever the company's card you had taken that company's card or whatever the location so this is a location okay this is the location area and this is this this is the shop from where you are you know purchasing your sim card then this particular area this particular this boundary is going to be your your home network okay so this is your home network so whenever you insert your sim card in your mobile device okay so a very nearest location of the bts the very nearest location of the transmitter or the bts is going to be assigned to you okay so that you're having a good connection in your mobile device uh, right so this this complete boundary is going to be your home network and whenever home network comes up the database is going to be your HLR home location registers so if you are if you are moving inside this location area then every information of yourself is going to be in, is going to be reside in this database okay so HLR is the HLR is the responsible person whenever you roam inside your home network so it collects your information such as IMSI that is international mobile subscriber identity let me write it down here international mobile subscriber identity sorry for my abbreviations but i hope you remember this okay and then we have something called as type of subscription which is very important type of subscription which means you had taken a prepaid connection or a postpaid connection which is very important for hlr to know that you are on the prepaid or the postpaid connections then also this is very important subscriber current location okay so this is subscribe Th these are the information that is you know collected by your these are the information collected by HLR HLR going to collect these informations remember this okay subscriber current location and also the billing billing cycles okay so these are in billings and the services that you had taken services such as call a tune these are some of the things that you had taken okay so these are the things that is taken by your HLR HLR is your permanent database okay it maintains all the information related to you whenever you purchase a sim card from any shop and that shop or the nearest location okay the the, the locations which is you know surrounded uh, this boundary is going to be your home network so this HLR knows about you about everything you know you are doing in this home network it knows everything about you this is a permanent database here and MSC is going to be you know it, it maintains it now let's understand this that what happened when a person who is inside the home network this this is a home network here 
remember this this is a home network now think about the case when a person who is you know inside a home network now he is moving with a velocity v and he moves to a new locations here a new location here and this is going to be you know a kind of foreign location so this is going to be the foreign network okay so a person who is moving from his home location to this foreign location here this home network is maintained by the hlr which is my permanent database okay but now what about this because home location register knows only about the home network you don't know where exactly you are because you are moving with the velocity v to some other location so whenever you are in the foreign location or the foreign network you know hlr doesn't exist there the existment is nothing but the vlr that is your visitor location register which is a kind of temporary database remember this this is a temporary database here okay so hlr knows about your home network but for foreign network it doesn't maintain by hlr it is maintained by your vlr now what happen whenever you are in the foreign network your vlr knows about you yeah some new device or some new subscriber comes in my network let me enter in my database okay so he will enter your information in the vlr database and then also it updates the hlr of yours okay it it updates the location okay so this is going to update your location with this hlr why is because one msc connected with other msc that means one city is connected with another city with the help of this msc and the databases keep that in mind this is easy to understand that if the if your msc if your msc is linked up or if your msc is connected with each other then it means the databases are also connected with each other right so vlr can easily connect with your hlr or vlr can easily connect it with this hlr okay then he will update your location to this hlr it means your permanent database he is going to update there that yeah from from the home location this person comes to my location for some time and then he will get back to his home location and then the data which is stored in stored in this database is going to be deleted okay whenever you get back to your home location you get back to your home location then the entry that is there in the database uh, that that vlr had, had had did that it is going to be deleted from the database whenever you move from the foreign location to to home location again so this is the work of vlr i hope you understand it okay so it the current position of the mobile subscriber is going to be you know it gives you that identity i hope you understand the hlr and vlr